Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Bella Vaccaro again. Um, this is like my, I want to say my fourth time doing this. So welcome back if you are a returning member of St. Mary's and welcome if you are new to St. Mary's. Um, I'm Bella Vaccaro again. Um, I'm a current active member of the church. I'm also part of the youth group. I help run services and all that jazz. But this week I'm here to give you the T3T, which means the top three things that you need to know this week that's going on at St. Mary's. The first thing that we're gonna talk about this week is the awesome response that we received from all of our parishioners for the Education Equals Hope weekend. We are so thankful for all that you donated, all your thoughts, all your prayers, you know, just the activeness of our community and the love and support that we gave to our friends um, over in Ecuador. If you don't know, the youth visited there last year uh, during the summer. Um, sadly, we didn't get to go this year because of COVID, which is really sad, but that's okay because they are still with us in, us, in our hearts and we got to do online mission, mission week. Um, we got to hear from Cameron and Celeste who help run Education Equals Hope, which is super awesome. And we just really want to say thank you. And we su we really, 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 really appreciate all that you guys did this weekend. Number two. So um, this week is kind of a little bit hectic and it's gonna be a little bit hectic from now on with the scheduling of church services. We now have different times because because of our capital campaign, we are now able to renovate Ross Hall. It's gonna be awesome, but sadly we're not allowed to use it anymore because of renovations. So we are going to be in the traditional service area, but we are going to be doing CFW. So we'll still have music. The CFW format will still be the same, but we will be in a traditional space. Um, you can kind of think of it as like a MTV Unplugged type deal, you know, switching it up. Um, so now we also with that have change in service time. So we're still going to have our 7 a.m. church service, the 9 a.m. CFW in traditional space, and the 11 a.m. traditional. So we're going to still, you know, keep up with as much as possible. It's going to be a little bit different, but I hope you all can still join us. So number three kind of goes along with number two, but this one we're talking about the capital campaign, which is super important because the capital campaign helps us beautify and grow our campus. So with the capital campaign, that all the money you all raised is now going to Ross Hall, which will now be beautified and we can, you know, make it pretty. Not that it wasn't already pretty, but make it, you know, a little more updated. Um, but we still need your support, you know, um, we still would love for you all to give continuously and we would really appreciate it. And we would just also like to thank for all the support you have given to this point. So this has been this week's top three things that you need to know that are going on in St. Mary's. Once again, I am Bella Vaccaro um, and hopefully I will see you all soon. Bye.